Ladies and gentlemen, what's up? This is BC. As we're wrapping up 2022, I wanted to do a quick video for you guys and let you know a methodology that I would use virtually every year when I was still that up and coming uh, realtor, real estate agent, just out there building my business, you know, from the ground up. The methodology that I use every December 31st and 1st to take anywhere from two to four listings the first 24 to 48 hours after those days. Okay, it's simple, anybody can do it. However, I'm gonna let you know if you're not willing to work hard, if you're not willing to get in your car, if you're not willing to talk to people or deal with some rejection, then this is not for you, okay? Because it's gonna require a little bit of hard work and stepping outside of the box, okay? So, you guys all know that I've always been preaching the cold calling and the door knocking and the old school stuff. So what I would do, the 31st and the 1st, and by the way, this doesn't even take all day. I want you to dedicate four to five hours, or more if you want, but minimum four hours, to do this. What I would do is this, I'll keep it simple for you. The 31st and the 1st, aside from like I think June, are the two biggest days for expired listings. I'm gonna repeat this, for expired listings. Virtually everybody who took a listing from like June, July, August, many of them set the 31st or the 30th as their end contract dates. Meaning, you're gonna see a huge influx and flood of expired listings hit the market the 31st and the 1st. Now, whoa, duh, Brian, that's obvious. Right, how many people are actually working the 31st and the 1st? Because as far as I know, everybody's planning the outfits they're gonna wear to all the little parties they're gonna go to to get drunk and get wasted for the 31st and the 1st. Or they've already checked out and they're not gonna work. Meaning, less competition for you. So, what do we do? Four hours, I want you and if you're willing to, start earlier. I want you to go from eight to 12, both mornings. Map out new expireds in a core area that you wanna work. No other doors, just go straight to the expireds. So what I would do as an example, eight to 12, normally in you know, a radius of maybe 10 to 15 miles, so it's not too big, I would pick out. I would pick out anywhere from eight to 12 expireds. You can do more, right, if you live in a more condensed city. And I would knock. 8 to 12, 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. every day, the 31st and the 1st. Now, the cool thing is most people are home. So out of those 8 to 12 doors, I would knock a minimum half to three quarters of them would answer. So if I knocked on 12 doors, I was having six, six to eight conversations, sometimes more. But minimum, you're going to have six. And what I found is almost half the time, if not more, depending on the year, I was setting up an appointment to relist those homes and put them back up for sale, okay? Now, if you're watching this and you're like, man, this is gonna be my first time um, doing expireds, I'm not that good, I struggle to set the appointment, that's fine, I still want you to go, but you have a few options. One, take your script book and your notes with you so you, you can refer to the questions, right, and you don't feel lost in the moment. But number two, if you still don't feel confident, take somebody with you, find an agent who's a little bit more skilled, propose this idea to them and say, hey, we'll split it 50-50, right? And I guarantee you, you're gonna get something. Uh, if you go back to my Instagram even, I remember it was like 2014, right? Or 15, one of those years. A couple of those listings I took from the first and the 31st of that door knocking, I literally posted the pictures and I said, listing number two secured, something like that. You can go, corroborate it yourself, go look. That was like seven, eight years ago or more. This methodology I use for years and years and years and I've taught it to the ages that every year people take the listings. So again, now, what are some things you can do to spice in this up? Well, on the 1st especially, but also the 31st, if you're really ballsy, go earlier. I remember I started knocking them at seven in the morning and I remember what one couple told me and this changed my career. I knocked on their door at like seven or 7.15. They said, you know what? We just signed with an agent who knocked on our door at 6.30. And I said, oh, I felt the pain. Because in my mind, I had questioned going out that early, thinking people would complain. Now, will people complain? Sure. But is it worth it for you to potentially get that listing of that motivated client? And they even complimented me. They're like, you know what? Between you and the other guy, at least we know there's two agents in this market who are working hard and who actually care. And it just blew my mind. So if you're willing to go out early, do that. But this is it. Those conversations you have the 31st and the 1st, if you do them properly, you will get listings. If each day you knock on 12 or 15, and you can do more, I just gave you the minimum. But if you're having six, eight, 10, 15, 20 conversations with these new expireds on the 31st and the 1st, every single day, those two days, 
I guarantee you, you're gonna set anywhere from five to six to 10 more appointments, and you will take listings. Even if your closing rate is atrocious, you'll still take two, three, or four listings. I guarantee you, what better way to start the year with a bang than this, right? Like right now, magically the last two or three days, I lost my voice. Do you think it stopped me from lecturing and doing webinars and interviews? No, I'm still doing this stuff. Now my voice is pretty much back now, but I'm still doing it. Had my voice gone completely and it was the 31st and the 1st and it was time for me to get out there, I still would have done it. I still would have done it. So take this strategy. Can you do more than that? Sure, but this is a baseline strategy that if you follow it, you have good conversations and you have the know-how and you've been applying these things that I've been teaching you over the years, you are virtually guaranteed to take listings. I did it every year, even as a new agent. So if I could do it as a new agent with no experience, and no background in sales and no track record at that time, you can do it too, okay? So um, that's it for this one. Make sure you guys leave a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next video, all right? Peace.